I'm Matt Link, President, Link Engineering Company, here today with our Vice President of North America Test Operations, Ronan Harkin. Ronan, maybe you can give us a quick update on the, what's going on in our facility here. Yes, certainly, Matt. Here we are in Dearborn, the heart of our test facility, of which we have many around the world in North America. Here we're going to walk you through. If you look to your left, you'll see our brake test equipment. Looking to your right, you will see where we test wheels, hubs, bearings. We have our several hydraulic test equipment. So as we go through the facility today, we're going to take you through various different areas. This facility is ultimately here to help our customers develop and test their product and bring it to the market. This is our vehicle testing, where we're working with our customers to define tests. We instrument vehicles, we build them up with the data acquisition and sensors, and we go execute the testing on the public road or proving ground. Excellent. And maybe if you can talk a little more about our VMAX units that we... Yep. So the data acquisition we use in our vehicles, Matt, is our own link-built VMAX data acquisition system. It's modular by design, which means we can configure it to any test that we're running. We're here at Shipping Receiving, where we're managing our customers' components, both pre- and post-test. Yes, from here, Matt, customers' parts come in. They move towards fabrication, where fixtures get made if they're going to a laboratory test, or they move directly to our vehicle test environment. Testing with Link, it's about identifying the test to be run, the critical parameters, understanding the end output, So our tire testing, we're helping customers develop their tires for wear, noise performance, wet and dry friction levels, etc. So here we see the force and motion machine that we use. It's a rolling rod that simulates a tire driving down the road. The hammerhead is an impact machine that simulates sudden impact off a component. For example, a wheel hitting a pothole. The head drops, the energy goes into the test specimen and it's a single strike impact. We measure the speeds, we measure the loads that are hitting the object. Typically after a pre-damage, the wheel will then move to a durability type test on the biaxial machine customer can buy a piece of equipment like the biaxial, put it into our facility, we operate it, we manage it, we run it. So when there's downtime on that equipment, we can use it to sell testing to other customers. The owner of the asset, then instead of having costs, are getting a revenue stream. This is one part of our server hydraulic lab where we do structural and fatigue testing on chassis components. Example components are control arms, half shafts, knuckles. And over here we've got a bushing being tested over multiple axes. So if we continue through the door, we'll move more into our mechanical lab. Our mechanical lab is where we do functional checks on equipment. So we're looking at components, adding a force, seeing how it moves, seeing how it bends. So now we're going to enter into a test chamber. Inside this test chamber, we have our brake system that would be under test. So the chamber itself is acoustically isolated. So basically it brings the ambient noise level very low so that we're able to test and identify noise in a braking system. Our chemistry lab is here with its core capabilities being identification of heavy metals. So heavy metals are now regulated as to what percentage of certain metals can be within a friction material. We have since expanded that capabilities into paint testing, fluid testing, again around the identification of heavy metals. So we've gone on a tour, we've seen our test equipment all around the facility here. Each one of our test systems is running on our own ProLink software. And with that, we've got LabLink 
to manage all the data. Maybe Ronan, if you talk a little bit about LabLink. Yes, yeah, certainly, Matt. LabLink is our laboratory information management system. It's designed and developed in-house. It's designed by the user, for the user, to operate a laboratory in the most efficient, quality way possible. So basically, as we go through the journey, you're able to initiate your test requests in the system. Automatically, then, it will move into scheduling the type of testing to be run with the equipment that's available to run it and make sure a customer can get the data as quickly and efficiently as possible. To the final piece is then being able to mine the data that already exists in the system so that our customers can test smarter. Excellent. And in the end of the day for our customers, it is all about the data. So getting the proper data in a timely manner. So thank you very much for coming on the tour.